Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and today I am on once again with another entry, another reveal of the mini swap that I am currently hosting. This swap comes from Miss Carissa, who is at K3 Crafts over on Instagram. I will have her linked in the description box down below, so you can check her out. Make sure you do. It looks like she has sent in one to swap, and then she has sent me a little hostess gift. Not required, but very much appreciated. So, let's look at this first, and then we will see what she sent for the swap. Um, I am going to be pumping these videos out, because today it is July 8th which was the mail out date for this the uh, mini swap. And I have received eight um, more entries <laughs> just today and I have more on the way. So I'm gonna be pumping these videos out as fast as I can. And um, uh, so get ready. I hope you guys are all excited. So, so far they've been quite a hit, I think. Um, everybody's been enjoying telling me that they enjoy the mini embellishments and everything. So let's start here with this little envelope that has my name on it. It looks like she's made a little 3x3 three three note card. It's, a, it's absolutely gorgeous and says, have a sweet day. Love these flowers. This, I think this is a Paige Evans collection, if I'm not mistaken. And then it opens here to the side, and then it just says, Bethany, thank you for hosting a fun mini swap. I loved watching all your videos and getting a lot of inspiration. Congrats on your 1K subbies. Thank you, thank you. Your crafty friend, Carissa. So, thank you, Miss Carissa. Um, I very much appreciate that. I'm very proud to finally be at 1,000 subbies. So, yes. Okay, and then it looks like she has sent me some adorable mini butterfly embellishments. Look at these. There's even a tiny little bag topper here on the top. And she's done one in green, pink, and yellow. And she's even added little enamel dots to the center of the green and the yellow ones. So cute. They match so well. And then we have got... Ooh, a mini memory dex card. Awesome. I don't think I have a memory dex card from you, so I'm excited to add it to my collection. Look how cute. She's got a little chipboard frame here. She's lined it with a pink solid cardstock and a <coughs> butterfly pattern paper. She's used some of that fun pink mesh that we that I think all my subscribers have asked me about. <laughs> so um because I love to layer with it so much, and it's so much fun. There's a little chipboard butterfly, a bird sticker, and some flowers sticking out in the background. I'm um, cover up her address and show you that. Oh, she has a YouTube too. I did. I maybe I was aware of that. I'm gonna make sure that I'm subscribed, so you make sure you're subscribed as well, and check out her Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description box. Her birthday's March 8, and she likes butterflies, birds, and bright colors. How cute is that little bird on there? <laughs> Thank you for that. And I'll be reusing this adorable yellow, like, ombre yellow to pink bag again. Definitely. She sent me a really nice little um, hand cream. It's called Sunkissed Ocean Waves. I gotta smell it. I won't put any on because I don't want to get lotion all over beautiful projects but oh my gosh it smells like the beach it's called sea salt and water blossom but it definitely smells like the beach thank you so much I can never have too much hand cream for sure because you guys always see my hands and they're always dry from working with paper but look at this adorable little it's like a gable box almost but it's pink with gold foil polka dots and gold foil details around the handle and this adorable bow. She's even put a little flat back gold gem there. Oh, no, it's a brad to keep it closed. Okay, very cool. But it looks like the center of the bow. And so I'm going to take that off so we can open it up. She's got some pretty shred in here and... What is this? So we have this little container that she's 
um, embellished with some ephemera pieces that says fun. And inside, is it a mini embellishment box? I think it is. Oh, yes. There's some a few pieces of shred in here. Let me get those out so we can see the goods. Okay, definitely cute. There are two pairs of sunglasses, little mini sunglasses, one in a heart shape and one in just a regular sunglass shape. Thank you. These are so cute. We've got a gorgeous wire-wrapped bead. Is covered in rhinestones. So pretty. We've got another little purple uh, wire wrap bead. And we've got a minty green bow that's wire wrapped, ready to go. Thank you. We've got some really, I've never seen these before. These are adorable and don't have anything like these in my stash. They're little pink bows with a smaller white bow and then a heart in the center. How cute. And then we also have a little pink bow bead that I can wire wrap myself. We've got another wire wrap bead here. How pretty is that? And it's perfectly wire wrapped. I don't have the patience to wire wrap this style. <laughs> like I do sometimes, but most of the time I do the easy method. So anyways, look at this gorgeous I've never seen like a, it's like a royal blue rose, so pretty, and then there's a pink one just like it, and then we've got a cute little white flower bee, or charm, and then a yellow flower charm. Thank you for those, I really appreciate this awesome hostess gift, I love little trinket boxes, and embellishments of course, and of course my memory dex card collection. I've got to get on, I need to make another memory deck card stand so I can add all of these into, into it. I'm going to make a mini version. I'll probably do a tutorial for the mini version because if you have, if you're like me and have a lot of mini memory deck cards, you need a mini one. <laughs> so thank you. I'm going to add that to my collection over here on my desk. And let's see what she's made for the swap. Thank you again, Carissa, for that lovely hostess gift and okay i'm already super excited to see this she's wrapped this pink polka dot cellophane bag with a pink and white polka dot glittery polka dot ribbon and a little um twisty tie to keep it closed and then her swap is this amazing acetate and patterned paper tote bag we'll take a better look at it when we get everything out of it but how stinking cute is that there's her information there um k3 craft instagram and youtube she's got this adorable bow oh my gosh and this um patterned paper that she used for the handles and for the top and bottom of this tote has a shimmer to it i don't know if you can see that but it's very pretty it's like a vintage rose type of pattern and then she's done a this really fun um holy bow <laughs> um with a pink gem in the center then the um handles are held on with gold brads so cute but let's go ahead oh and she's got a dangle here hanging with this pink star jump ring and then she has wire wrapped this green bow, this gorgeous, um, I don't know what you call that, that dark holographic look, so pretty. We've got this multicolor berry bead, this blue wire wrapped heart, this beautiful dragonfly, and then at the bottom she's got this, um, it's like a, a translucent, transparent, um, clear colored flower with a pink center i've never seen one like that very pretty and the acetate that she used has pink polka dots on it kind of matches the bag right <laughs> so cute and then let's get into it here in the front we've got an adorable little what looks to me like one of those grocery bags it's done out of craft um cardstock so I hope you can see what I mean. It looks like a little uh, 
paper grocery bag and then she's closed it with a little pink polka uh pink velcro dot she's decorated here with some fun um ephemera pieces and some green and yellow enamel dots and inside oh fun and we have we've got some mini die cuts they're all little doilies how cute are these so she's done I used to have this die set and I don't know what happened to it, but um, she's done one of each in this, oh, I keep dropping them, one of each style in this minty green um, textured cardstock, including the little center there. And then she's done one of each style in this bubblegum pink textured cardstock, along with the little center as well. So cute. Little mini doilies. Those are great for layering. Great for making little embellishments. Whatever the recipient chooses to do with those. And then next, we've got an adorable little set of wrapped, like she used some pink twine to wrap up these three mini envelopes. Starting with this tiniest one. Let's see how small it is. It's like one and seven eighths by one and a half. And inside we've got the tiniest little note card I've ever seen. Super cute. She's um, matted it with this pattern paper and then added this little um, flower there. So you can embellish it more if you want to. But it's just a tiny little note card. <coughs> Excuse me. Then in the next envelope, we've got, it's a beautiful pattern paper. She's done a little, did she do a little, she did. She did a little um, stamp, like a postal stamp image with some little hearts there on each one. And then this one is another little note card. She embellished lightly with some purple cardstock, some pink um, little circle die cuts, and then this botanical guide chipboard book. And it is another little note card as well. So one of so she made a set of mini note cards in different sizes. We've got this pink and gold foil envelope with a gorgeous matted gold foil card, and it says number one together. So she left them pretty simple, so you can add to them or leave them as they are. Very nice. We like the options, right? And then when we're done, when I'm done with this video, I'll tie those back up. So no worries there. I'll put it back the way I found it. And the next, okay, this is so cool. So I need to get one of these embossing folders that does the little, um, the little tiny polka dots. Because she embossed her vellum envelope here with a dotty embossing folder. And then inside, I like the packaging, very nice. And then inside, she has a variation of bows for her recipient. She, some are just one layer and have a little enamel dot. Some are layered up with foam dots in the center to give them some dimension. This one has one of those cute little um, cabochons on it, like she gifted me. And then we've got, let me put these down. We've got this style. And this style, and this style. Very cute. I like the pink polka dot paper. Very cute. And then we've got three more here. Make sure I'm not missing any. <laughs> I'm not holding on to things very well today, I tell you that much. But these are super cute. These look straight out of a Maggie Holmes collection. Both of those styles do this. The droopy style and then this, you know, double loop bow. Very cute. I'll put those back when we're done as well. She had this clipped on the envelope with the little bow, wire up bow on this pink paper clip. She also made you, uh, her recipient some of these adorable butterfly embellishments as well. So just like the one she made me. OMG. The tiniest little bee embellishments I've ever seen. So these are like paper pieced die cuts. I'm not going to open them up, but she's 
packaged them in this fun little treat bag, zippered treat bag, and it's like a really pretty blue iridescent. The camera picks up that iridescent. And then she's layered, so it looks like she did a like a black layer in the back and then a gold foil layer on top. So you've got some black and gold bees. Super cute. We've got a set of four mini em uh, rosette embellishments. She's hung a dangle here from the top of the baggie just to add some extra interest and detail. That's super fun. And look, I don't know if you can see, but this rosette die has some embossed detailing in it. Very pretty. Then we've got two of this style and two of this style. She did them in a green card stock. Very nice. We've got some mini flowers. I will open this bag. This is another one of those yellow and pink gradient zipper treat bags. She did a little crepe paper rosette with this like epoxy sticker there on the front. And because this window is kind of frosted, I want to take these out so we can get a better look. So she's backed them on this um, embossed cardstock and then put them on a layer of acetate so they're easy to take off. And so she's done them in purple, uh, different shades of purple. We've got this one here. I love the embossed lines on the petals, a little pink faceted gem in the center. This one has a fun white stamen with a little purple rhinestone. We've got two of these rolled rose type flowers. We've got this one, which is, I think the same as this one, but she added some stickles to this one along the edge of the petals and has a little bit bigger of a faceted gem in the center. And she's got leaves on three of them. And then we've got this one here that's a lot like this one with the little white stamen in the center. I love when people add leaves to the uh, flowers. I think it just takes them to a whole nother level. Do you agree? I think so. The leaves just make them that much more special, that much more detail oriented, you know. And then it looks like, ooh, oh, there's a little note that just says swap partner. Hope you enjoy these goodies. Your crafty friend Krista at K3 Crafts. And then last but not least, we've got her little memory decks card, which is a lot like the one that she made me, but we'll show it anyways because it is a little different. This one she's done with some blue um cardstock and then that that fun um butterfly pattern paper some more of that pink mesh another chipboard frame this gorgeous butterfly in the center there's a little piece of paper on there i'm gonna try to get that off oh i'll, I'll mess with it after i'm done filming I, some a little happiness sentiment and some more flowers and another butterfly chipboard butterfly there very pretty so now that this tote is empty, let's take a look at it. Look, she even did the inside with that gorgeous shimmery floral pattern paper. And isn't this just the cutest? So fun. I think this is a tutorial by Christian's Crafty Adventures, if I'm not mistaken. I've, I haven't done this. I haven't made one of these before, but I've definitely seen it. So this is about four, three and three quarters or four inches wide. and about three and a half inches tall, not including the straps. Including the straps, it would be about five inches tall. But super cute, lovely entry for this mini swap. Thank you, Carissa, for participating. And thank you for my gifts. I really appreciate it. Um, I I'm, hope you had fun making all these fun little embellishments. It looks like you did so cute i will put everything back the way i found it but if you guys have any questions um watching at home feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you and other than that have a great day thanks for watching bye